More now on fire to FBI Director James Comey's first TV interview promoting his new explosive book where he certainly doesn't hold back and goes after President Trump, calling him unfit for office, referring to him as a mob boss. The White House says President Trump watched bits and pieces of it, not the entire thing. Our Gary Tuckman watched all of it with a group of uh, supporters of the president. Here's his report. FBI. 23 active members of the Charleston County, South Carolina Republican Party scrutinizing the James Comey interview. What did it feel like to be James Comey in the last 10 days of that campaign after you sent the letter? It sucked. I walked around vaguely sick to my stomach, feeling beaten down, felt like I was totally alone, that everybody hated me, and that there wasn't a way out. We still do. In this living room, no evidence of any pity for Comey. What did you think of James Comey? I thought he seemed weak. 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 Or, Gary, I think that. Thin skin. Fantasy land. I think very he's, petty. He's six foot eight very tall, but he's a very little man. I mm -hmm. think he diminished the office of the FBI. Mm -hmm. The head of the FBI doesn't feel uncomfortable. That's sort of lily livered. It's not, the, well, it's not what I would expect from a man. What's lily livered mean? Uh, weak. 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 <laughs> a key moment of the interview. And I don't think he's medically unfit to be president. I think he's morally unfit to be president. Was a moment that angered many here. And Comey said he's morally unfit to be president. Right. And who is he to say? Who is he to judge that? Judgment. Who is he to pass judgment? Why isn't he allowed to pass judgment? He's the former FBI director. You know what? He was the top cop. And he had an opportunity to call Trump out, and he didn't. If he really felt that Trump was unfit, morally unfit, he had an opportunity. Would you have believed him if he said it at the time? Why would we? And what about Comey saying the president asked for his loyalty and the president's denial of that? How do we know that he wasn't asking for him to protect our country's loyalty, be loyal to well, your country? Because President Trump asks a lot of people for their loyalty, and it's not about the country. That wouldn't be against the personality that we know of Mr. Trump. But well, it's hard. As a businessman, I think you would ask for loyalty. If you're on my party, you're going to be working for me. We need to be cohesive. And yes, loyalty is very important. But that's not the FBI director's job to be loyal to the president. That's the problem. It's not his job. Well, you know, we used to think the FBI was the highest. Right off the bat and say, I got this big, thick file on you about Russians and mm -hmm. prostitutes and stuff like that. That set the stage very poorly. Mm -hmm. So you blame Comey for making Trump paranoid. Yeah, that's exactly what he intended to do. When he went in on the very first meeting, that was, was like, his Mr. intention. And guess what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to work with you, but I got this on. Do you know Comey's a Republican? Mueller's a Republican. Rosenstein are Republicans. Yeah. Yeah. Comey is so why 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 would Maybe Comey want to make Trump yeah. be uncomfortable at the right beginning? Why did Jay Edgar right Hoover file on everybody? Well, that was J. Edgar Hoover. That was a long time ago. Well, why do you think why do you think Comey would want to make Trump uncomfortable? They're part of the swamp, and he's trying to drain the swamp. Right. The consensus here is that Comey is a dishonest broker. Are any of you troubled with the president's grasp on the truth at some point? I don't know that anybody's 100% always truthful in right. the big, powerful situations like he's in. Why do you think Jim Comey would say all these lies about the president of the United States after this career? Because his, and child, his childhood, childhood dream, and he is, his Power. childhood dream, he became the director of the FBI, yeah. and that was spoiled by Donald Trump. Does that not trouble anybody? No. How come? We're way better off of that, James Comey. <laughs> Comey. Yeah. Right, way better off. On. Gary joins us now. The Republicans in Charleston, do any of them acknowledge the possibility that by publicly reopening up the Clinton email investigation, Comey may have swayed the election? Well, Anderson, we asked our group if anyone thought that Comey could have swayed the election towards Donald Trump, and nobody raised their hand for a few seconds. And then one man in the back raised his hand and said, yes, I think it is a possibility. And then later, someone came up to me and said the same thing. So this group wasn't 100 percent unanimous. Also, on another topic, the nickname that Donald Trump has given James Comey, that nickname being, quote, slimeball. Many members of the group said they think it's fine to say slimeball. Others say that it wasn't a very good thing for the president to say.